How's it going everyone? It's Jack here again. Today I've got the Sawyer Mini Water Filtration System. This is one of my favorite backpacking water purification methods. It's light, it's small, it's easy. I'm going to show you all what I think of it and how to use it. Stick around, I'll show you what's up. Alright, so filling up the 16 ounce pouch is really easy. All you have to do is take off the lid that's provided and sometimes if there's not air in it, I'll take my hand and I'll put it around the mouthpiece and blow in. And that just opens up the pouch so water flows in a lot easier and you get more water. So ideally, you want to find a fresh water source that's moving. If it's stagnant, that's okay. The Sawyer Mini will still filter it. It's just flowing sources of water tend to be more pure. So then you just take the water bottle and with the mouthpiece facing away, downstream, you're going to submerge it and slowly start to fill the bottle up with the water. You can also fill the Sawyer Mini pouch under a small waterfall like this. To put on the Sawyer filter onto the water pouch, just take off the top after you filled it with water. And then the opposite side is threaded and you'll see a line for the flow of water. Thread the Sawyer Mini on top of the pouch. There's also a cap up here. Take this off for when you're filling it up and now I'll show you how to fill the water bottle. All right, so once you've got the top on and you're full of water, you're just gonna wanna push it over the bottle and start squeezing from the bottom of the bag into the water bottle. And so what I'll do is I'll roll the back of the bag sort of like a tube of toothpaste slowly as I'm pushing out the water through the filter. <sighs> it's great. All right, everyone, thanks so much for checking out my review of the Sawyer Mini. If you want to see where you can find one yourself, check it out below, and I'll post some links in the description. If you have any comments or questions about anything that I mentioned in this video, be sure to comment below. I'll answer your questions the best that I can. If you like my content, always subscribe. I'm going to be uploading another video soon on how to backwash this filter and use some other features in it, so stick around and check those out. As always, thanks so much for watching. I hope you all get out and enjoy the outdoors soon, and I definitely, definitely recommend checking out some of the hikes in Seattle. They have been really cool. See you later. Have a nice day.